So Eugene, here we are inside, and boy, I am just really impressed with how big this A-liner is. Uh, it's uh, We have a couple hours here. Why don't you show us, take the tour? Okay. Uh, well, this is uh, the inside, and I have some... Uh, <laughs> my Reflectix blew down. Uh, I've experimented with Reflectix covering the windows. When I was in New Mexico, it got to be 13 degrees out one night. So uh, I bought some Reflectix to play with, and I put it in the windows every night. Um, this is originally the sofa model, and the sofa model has a regular RV type uh, pad to sit on, and these two cushions go across the back for the back of the sofa. I keep them there just to make the bed feel longer. This is really only a twin bed. This platform slides all the way forward to the end of the cabinet here and would fit a double bed and uh, a double mattress full. I put a charging station in here. I have my, uh, I wear a CPAP at night and I have a CPAP plugged into my charging station so that, that runs off of 12 volts. There is a sink, a two burner stove, so uh, you have to light. And uh, I cook on this quite a bit. A lot of people I know with uh, A-liners don't like to cook inside, but uh, there's windows to open up. There is a microwave. I have storage. I have uh, a heater underneath, three-way fridge, and uh, uh, the uh, DC version of it does not uh, cool. It just maintains, is what I was told. And then the uh, dinette section over there, and uh, uh, the dinette table is a good old shaky dinette table. I need to do something about that in the future, but I haven't decided what. I have two 100 amp hour batteries, AGMs, and they are mounted under the dinettes. They, they can be accessed from the, I'm going to move this real quick, over here behind me. Here's one of them here, and this is my setup storage stuff. And on the other side, there's the other battery and my charge controller is over there also. So, um, you have a huge amount of storage here. Yes. Under the two dinettes, the other dinettes, or the other seat for the dinettes, exactly the same. And uh, um, it works out pretty good. I, I'm not utilizing those to the maximum they could be utilized. No. Yeah. But, uh, and then this whole thing makes a twin bed also. And uh, my Renergy charge controller is on the wall back there. The wire running up the wall there is my Bluetooth module to, uh, so I can use my phone to check. Of course, my Lucy light's in the way there. <laughs> Another modification I did for cold weather is I bought some air conditioner insulation and put along the seams. And I use a tension rod here for, it, it adds some strength to the A walls in high winds. The highest winds that I uh, uh, experienced in this setup were about gusts to 30 miles an hour. I really don't want to go over that. There is a uh, Thetford uh, cassette toilet in here. Oh. Uh, and I also have the capability of water. What I did with the cassette toilet was is I don't plan to use it except in emergencies. So I built these two boxes for pantry storage. Oh yeah and they come out and then the toilet is right here. I put these two pieces of plywood in just for to hold the boxes up in place so that they're not riding on the, the cassette toilet and uh, breaking it. And then this was originally a junk drawer, so to speak, just a shallow big spot. I took and modified that. I took the bottom out and made this box so that instead of having to access the top shelf, uh, I can access it from here and I do it much easier and really well organized <laughs> and I and I also repurpose soda bottles and what's we call it so this you know if, if I need to I, I generally just take things out of here but if you wanted to you could central centralize these for uh, uh, barbecuing outside and put barbecue sauce sure. or something else and so on and so forth Catch you know. up and uh, I put my oatmeal and other things uh, flour, rice. I particularly like uh, Snapple bottles. Snapple bottles are a much harder plastic than 
used Pepsi bottles. Right. <laughs> but uh, I, I love this system and I use these a lot. These type of containers from Kirkland or Planters or, or whatever. Really smart thing there. I mean, that's just yeah. incredible. Right. And, and that's the beauty of these six-pack holders. You can just, they just come and go, you know. Mm -hmm. There is also storage on the front things under here, but you have to access them by picking up the bed. Uh, I do have an 11-gallon water tank under this corner and a 6-gallon uh, hot water tank under this corner, gas hot water tank. Uh, but I don't use the water systems because I'm not really interested in it's an aspect that I'm afraid of something, if it does go wrong, a water leak can raise a lot of havoc with these because, of course, the, the floors are particle board of some type. They're, they're not a laminated plywood or a coated plywood or anything. The, the bottom is undercoated. Uh, the uh, dormers, I'm going to demonstrate a dormer coming down. Okay, yeah, please. And uh, you really just have to come up here and do this. I've got junk stored up here temporarily. That's it. You and go that, outside and latch it. That is easy. And when you want to open it up, you just push here, latch that in place, latch that in place, and it's back again. I got to put my coat rack back up. <laughs> wow, that was fast and easy. And the sides come down the same way. So, if we were closing this up, this would be the last side to come down before the roof. You should be good right there. Oh, wow. My pillow's in the way, too. But it just folds down like that. Oh. This side folds down, and then this side folds down, and then the top collapses. Nothing to it. Wow. Yeah, that is easy. And when it goes back up, it just latches back in place. Oh, and that's hooked. Yeah. And wow, that was and, it. You're and, right. That's and, no and that's time. all there is to putting it up and down. Now I'm going to put my rod back up here. And the enormous high ceiling just makes it feel really big in here. Right. And when it's extremely cold, I close down the dormers to reduce the amount of space that I'm heating right. so that it's more economical to heat and uh, it does a good job. Now it also has a fantastic vent in the ceiling. Well really these are not cold weather rigs but no RV is. They're not no, designed for and cold weather. When I found out what the, uh, the, the inside here is just uh, Luan, uh, very thin plywood like quarter inch or three sixteenths is an inch of styrofoam. And then uh, there is uh, Asdell, which is an interior coating inside the vinyl from the outside. So you're seeing there's only four layers here. There's no structural members in here like a 2x4 or an aluminum frame or anything like that. That's why these are notoriously light is because there are no structural members in it. Everything's uh, basically this type of construction is just one inch of styrofoam, plywood on the inside. and vinyl on the outside All right but that makes it pop up easy and tow easy oh yeah yeah it, it is it's it's very nice you know there are no cabinets above uh waist height because no they're... no because you have to fold everything you down, fold everything down. Uh, i have seen uh youtube videos of people who do uh, uh, uh modifications and uh they'll, they'll build shelves for here they take and put these type of rods up and then hang shelves off of them and, and to me that's okay if you're going to go somewhere and camp for a week or a month you know but every time you put that stuff up you also have to take it back down and i'm fairly simplistic i don't like to have to do very much to come and go if if i needed to if a storm were coming and i had to be out of here in an hour i could be out of here in a half an hour I could right. be out of here in probably 15 minutes if I didn't care about proper storage. I could get everything below this level and set it down, flop the sides, hook up and go. Right. <laughs> so we, uh, you're not, you're not even using your water system at all. No. Uh, so how are you showering? 
I am a Diet Pepsi person, or Diet Coke or whatever. I took a Diet Pepsi lid, and I marked it black so that you could see it. I have others here. I took a regular Diet Pepsi lid and drilled three small holes in it, and I screw this onto a Diet Pepsi bottle. This morning, I took and put about a half a quart of water or a quart of water in this half gallon of uh, water here, cooked it in my teapot and dumped it in and got the temperature of it up to about 112. And then I filled my Pepsi bottle and used this, oh. screwed it on the top and it's got three little holes in it and just spray over. I do also have uh, uh, squirt bottles, I have baby wipes. I have showered in here a couple times, but I don't really shower shower. I mostly use spray bottles and a wet washcloth or baby wipes and uh, put uh, uh, a towel down on the floor on top of my rugs, things that I can dry out, and uh, uh, then stand here and clean myself up. I do have also in uh, down here, and I'm sure everybody's seen these, collapsible. When I washed my hair in here last time, and I washed it in here because uh, I used regular chemical shampoo, not like Dr. Bonders. I have some stuff, but this is one of those collapsible wash tubs. Very clever. You know what I mean? So I just wash my hair over this, you know. And it also serves as a cutting board and other things, you know. And so uh, that's how you shower, and you're not using the toilet that came with it. What? Are, how are you going to bath? I I do use it as a bucket instead of getting a bucket out. Oh, okay. I see. You know, I have it lined with plastic with two plastic bags, and then I take the one out and put it in another one, a regular Walmart bag, and pack it up in something and take it away to the garbage. That's know? exactly what I do. Right. Exactly. You know. <laughs> Works fine. And I do have a, a a five or six gallon plastic bucket in the back of my truck with a beta lid on it, or a gamma lid. Uh, I couldn't remember which Greek lover we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, I can't use an emergency in the truck. If this was folded up, and I had an emergency and I had to use the bathroom, I would have to stop somewhere, or open this up, get inside of it just to use a bathroom. So I have a gamma bucket in there, and I also double it as it stores my charcoal, charcoal lighter, and I have a pitch kettle, a, a little, it's an asparagus cooker for cooking pitched potatoes. That is a southern thing, mostly north of South Carolina, wherever the Tar Heels are from. Uh, you boil potatoes in uh, pine pitch, and it's, it gives an excellent flavor to the potatoes. Well, this is great. I mean, you have a, a really wonderful home here, set up really nice, uh, big and beautiful and open, and uh, plenty of storage. Although you don't get above the waist height, you, you have no problem with no, storage? No, and and pretty much everything in here is eating and sleeping, and uh, I bring my computer in from the truck. My tow vehicle has uh, all my clothing. I keep a cooler in there for traveling that I buy ice for whenever I need it. Uh, uh, all my clothes hang in there. I have boxes of clothing, other storage items. I have a couple musical instruments with me. Uh, a 2,000 watt generator out there, uh, all kinds of things. <laughs> and so you have an F-150? Yep, I have an F-150. It is a crew cab, and it has a six and a half foot bed on it with a, uh, a cap over it. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, I stayed in that last year about three months out of a seven months trip. You know, when I went to Yellowstone, I slept in there. Well, Eugene, thank you so much for sharing your home and your life with us. It's really wonderful what you've done. It's just a great home. Right. You're seeing the country. You're going to die. He who dies with the most memories wins. And I, think, <laughs> I think you're uh, running ahead of the pack here. That's a good idea. Yeah. I like that phrase. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you're definitely running, leading the pack. <laughs> so thanks so much for sharing your home with us. I really appreciate it. Folks, I know you've gotten something out of this, and an A-liner is definitely something to add to your possibility list. Uh, if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you later.